Lakers, considering, again, that quick turnaround? Yes, Mike, I am. For a couple of reasons, I thought LeBron James might have missed a game by now as you see the addition of Marc Gasol and what he provides. He can pick and pop. He doesn't take a ton of shots. Really rocky shooting the ball. But since January 1st, he is north of 40 percent. He's just flat shooting it right now. Nice speed inside. Davis shot a bead with the block. But they call a goaltend. Well, we've talked so much about Joel Embiid and the season he's off to, but to watch Ben Simmons get downhill, push the pace, is exactly what you hope. And too often this year for me, Mike, he's looked to pass. Now, in that instance, he got downhill, nobody in front of him. Defense still distributing as good as most in the NBA as Harris drives in, shot won't go, rebound LeBron James. Boy, Marc Gasol, not taking a ton of shots, but the fundamentally sound defense, the passing ability, just back-to-back -back possessions where the value of Marc Gasol in complete command right there. And right now, Ben Simmons in complete command on the offensive end. Simmons already with six points. Well, I think if you're the, the Lakers, you've got to stop the ball at the point of attack. To allow a guy at 6'10 with that kind of speed and downhill ability to get ahead of steam is just silly. James goes back door again. And fires it in, Gasol with some sweet. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't be surprised because you're talking about a bunch of pros, including the consummate pro in Mark Gasol. I mean, listen, just square up, point of attack, you lift the defense, and then how about this? Just stay vertical, make it very tough for Tobias Harris to make a shot over you, just excellent. So it'll be interesting to see, do they guard him one-on-one? -on -one? Well, he doesn't have to shoot, he just has to throw these. Embiid one on one. There comes Schroeder with the double team. And Embiid rushed a little bit. Well, let's just watch Marc Gasol's passing display through the first couple of minutes of this game. The spacing is incredible. LeBron James just backdoors his defender. Ben Simmons, you're throwing your best perimeter defender at LeBron. He leaves him in the dust to stain it. Because Doc Rivers has said. Listen, it comes down to two things. You guard them one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to score. You double them, the mindset has to be we're going to score. Right there, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going after it, and he gets the end one. This is beautiful basketball. And remember, he's having a little word from Mark Gasol. Mark traditionally has done an exceptional job as the closest defender, but look at the strength. I mean, this is two big, strong, physical guys, and it'd be just right through the contact. Meanwhile, Gasol just got a technical foul as well, in addition to the personal foul. Now wanting an explanation. James right back to Gasol. They want to take of that, take advantage. Uh, Mark Gasol's height, and Tobias Harris fouls him there. That's going to be a difficult matchup for Tobias, and Mark will be more aggressive than he typically is. And there's the soft touch. I mean, that touches a lot of orange, Mike. But he... he Coming off that victory on Monday in Cleveland against the Cavaliers, the 46-point game for LeBron James. Schroeder. And a loose ball foul is going to go against Philadelphia. It appears to be... I think it's going to be Seth Curry grabbing Gasol's arm. He backfilled the corner with a three-point shooter. Like, good luck guarding that action. Well, this new roster for the Sixers has that perimeter game. Caruso, nice little hop step, can't finish. Gasol, the offensive rebound. Horton Tucker always attacking and finishing. This guy is aggressive. It's your fantastic set man, Dave Freed, if it had. And it has not. No player has ever won three championships back to back to back on three different teams. And Danny Green has a chance to do that this season. He told me that, yes, that will be great. It's not something he's really focusing on. He said, I'm just really here to help bring a title here. And if it happens, if I get a three-peat, great. But I'm not thinking about the titles I won before this. I'm thinking about this year, right now, the goals that I have with the 76ers for 2021. He and Embiid goes down again, this time with Gasol. <laughs> what is going on out there? So this time the foul will be on Mark Gasol. They're in the penalty, and Gasol picks up his second. They've had some little conversations since this game started, he and Joel Embiid. Which so often you see the jerseys and the shoes. As Simmons misses, but a foul. He was Kobe, this generation's Michael Jordan. That's Joel Embiid with his tribute tonight.
as the entire NBA continues to keep the memory alive. Schroeder looking. Harris nearly poked it away. Gasol left open, tries a three, and that's good. That's, now he's shooting 34% from three-point range. Perfect on the road. They're 10-0 on the road. Schroeder looking, finds it to James, guarded by Simmons. Davis cuts, gets the pass, layup is good, and the Lakers take the lead. Timeout Philadelphia. Anthony Davis makes it 106 to 105, an incredible comeback here on the road. But just incredible execution. They, they get a little screen by Schroeder, who delivered the ball to LeBron. What a pass, what a finish. Hurry, Harris, and Embiid, the starting five for Philadelphia. Embiid trying to get free, trying to draw a foul. Curry has it, shot clock is off. Down to eight seconds, now Harris. Harris against Caruso on the drive, pull up jumper. It's good, Tobias Harris sinks it with 2.4 remaining. Lakers are out of timeouts. Caruso to Davis. Davis struggling, throws it up in the basket, and it's over. Oh, a thrilling finish here in Philadelphia as the Sixers blow a 14-point fourth quarter lead until Tobias Harris puts in the game winner. Harris with 24 points on 10 of 16. And the Sixers with a big victory. Disappointing loss for the Lakers as they lose their first road game of the season. Two of the NBA's elites battling, Doris. Yeah, and Alex Caruso is an excellent defensive player. Seth Curry delivers the ball. You're middle of the floor, so one-on-one. -on -one, you've got greater size, able to get enough separation and a pretty shot by a guy who's been in a tremendous shooting groove. Harris back playing once again with Doc Rivers played for him and the Clippers loves playing for Rivers and here in